I never shot with a Polaroid camera before, but I've been getting more excited with the idea of buying one. But only now I realize that there are so many models in the market, for the last few years Polaroid has been releasing new instant cameras in the market with so many different functionalities, so many different designs and a variety of colors that makes them really nice for collectors. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there collecting these cameras and stacking the shelves to probably look really good all together. So on this video, I will be showing my experiences with the Polaroid Now Plus, which I borrowed from a friend, and I will be spending the whole weekend shooting with this camera. I have no knowledge, never shot with an instant camera before, so this is going to be very raw. The pictures will probably be really, really bad, so expect the worst. The camera comes in three different colors, white, the black, which is the one I'm using, and the blue-gray, which is my favorite one. So the camera has a dual lens system, the camera chooses the lens based on the scene, it basically decides between landscape with a wider lens or portrait with a close-up mode. The camera is also out of focus, everything is straightforward in terms of buttons, settings and focus. You don't need to worry about exposure time or aperture settings. On the back of the camera you have the large button to switch on the camera. Beside that you have the flash button. You can switch on and off as you wish. If you hold the flash button, you get the exposure compensation mode. You can then select overexposure or underexposure mode. To activate the self timer, press the plus button in front of the camera. You will see an orange light. Then press the shutter and you have 9 seconds before the camera fires. Pressing the plus button twice and the camera activates the double exposure. You have then two shots. The frame counter flashes with number one and then after you shoot number two will blink and then you're ready to shoot the second frame. The shutter button is a large red button in front of the camera. So that is the camera buttons and functions without the app. Pretty straightforward, point and shoot, instant camera, you're ready to go, bye. Unless you want to have more creative control, in that case you can connect the Polaroid Now Plus to the Polaroid app. You're gonna have access to a wide range of modes and settings for a better creative control. The app offers remote control, self-timer, double exposure, tripod mode, portrait, light painting and manual exposure, which in my opinion is the most important function. Also, the camera has a tripod socket, so you can play with long exposures and use the app more comfortably while the camera is on a tripod. So, the camera is great, but the film is equally important. You simply open a package, slide it into the camera, and you have 8 shots ready to go. There are so many cool films to choose from, white frames, black frames, color frame editions, golden moments, spectrum editions, and there are some more funky ones like the Kit Herring pieces with his iconic works on a frame, and these are all definitely nice elements of fun to the Polaroid game. But for now, I only have the white frames. So moving on to a location and a practical shoot, my first attempt using this camera was in Phoenix Park in Dublin. I started by shooting some deers, I mean by photographing some deers. The images were all overexposed. Kind of like this one. Then I had to photograph this huge cross in the park and guess what? I can't even see the cross on a picture. Then later in the day I got a few better ones, nothing really special, but a big improvement from the first super overexposed ones. So all these photos from the park were shot on camera auto settings. The camera was doing its own thing. 
Later I headed to another location, I wanted to shoot at the blue hour, I expected to get some of the blue or pinkish sky. I kind of failed, got some very colorless, washed pictures. Later I got better ones and in the end I got this 8 second exposure using the app. Then it was time to try some portraits with interior lighting. I used some continuous RGB lights and shot a few portraits. I also tried the inbuilt camera flash and it worked pretty well. After spending the weekend with the Polaroid Now Plus, I have to say I'm not very happy with my shots. But at least I know how to use the camera a little bit better, what kind of conditions and lighting works better with the Polaroid, and also how to use the app. And talk about the app, I think the app is a must if you want to have more creative control over your photographs. If you want to use the camera for parties and take portraits of your friends, I think just shooting without the app, just with the camera, using the inbuilt flash, you can't go wrong. You will get that nice vintage look that you're looking for. So I would definitely go for the Polaroid Now Plus instead of the Polaroid Now. They are basically the same camera, but with the Plus you have the Bluetooth connection with the app and also the tripod socket. Anyway, I need to give this camera back to my friend. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like street photography, please watch this video here. It's a super cool one and I see you there.